At one point in my life, I thought that I wanted to be a writer, um, an author. Much younger point in my life. Um, and I was pretty good. Uh, I read above grade level all through school and I was um, ahead of classmates for writing um, and I enjoyed doing it. I liked to tell a story and I liked being drawn into a story. I loved to read when I was young. Um, you could always find me. When I, whenever I was at home on the, on the couch with a book, I wouldn't even hear my mother call for dinner. Sometimes she would have to come out and get me. By the time I was able to think about seriously writing um, to be published and to get paid, that was a time when, you know, we had computers and there was some internet, but it wasn't used like it is today. Self-publishing wasn't really a thing. You could do it if you had enough money to pay for the minimums for a print house to print for you, but there really weren't digital books. Um, there weren't print-on-demand services or anything like that, so you pretty much had to be accepted by a publisher and published in a traditional way in order to be really published at all, and certainly to be marketed. There wasn't social media really, it, it, didn't, it just didn't work that way. Uh, we have so many more options today for things like that. But I did take um, a correspondence course, a writing course, and this is after I was an adult and married and had some small children. And I did pretty well in that course, but I still, no matter what I submitted anywhere, was not able to get published. And I kind of just gave up on that idea. I did go to school uh, to become a teacher and quickly realized I really didn't want to deal with 30 or more students in a classroom that were all about eight years old. Uh, reduced my major back to preschool education, which was much more manageable, in my opinion, at the time. Um, smaller class sizes, smaller people, and it was more fun. So I do have a degree in preschool education, um, but then I had my own kids, and I homeschooled my kids, so I used my degree, but not in the workplace, <laughs> except when I was doing my student teaching. So um, then I thought about writing, and it, mostly I was a stay-at-home mom. Um, it, we did the calculations, and back then it would have cost us more for me to work and have daycare services and an extra car and a, a wardrobe that had to be kept up. Um, than it would be for me to just stay home with, with my kids. So that's what I did. My husband made enough that we could do that. But I wanted to do something creative. And I still liked to write and I took the course and but wasn't able to get published anywhere and I kind of gave it up. And I went into other things. I've tried sewing and a variety of different crafting things. And, and now today my business is an indie dyer of yarns and fibers. I do have a creative business um, that is as successful as I want it to be at any given time. Um, since I manage my own business, I can decide how much I want to work or don't work. And um, I've built up a network and everything, and that's all great. But now here I am on YouTube, and I'm trying to start this homestead. And I'm learning on YouTube that the story is really important. And so now I'm trying to decide, um, as you know, if you've seen previous videos, what do I want to share from my story? And then, so that sends me into a <laughs> spiral of um, evaluation. Like, what is a story? What does that really mean? Well, a good story... It has a beginning, a middle, and an end. There are main characters and um, accessory characters. Often there's a protagonist and an antagonist. There's usually some sort of thing to overcome. Uh, and th those are the basic elements of what a story is. But when it comes to how do you portray a life with story, 
what does that really mean? Where do I start? Do I start in my childhood? Do I start when I got married, when this dream started? Um, do I start from when we moved on to this homestead? You know, when you're wanting to become a writer, they tell you, because some, you do all these exercises to practice the craft and, and get better at it, and at some point, they'll get to a point where you're like, I just don't even know what to write. I don't have anything to write about. And they'll tell you, every person has enough experiences in their history to fill a five-foot bookshelf full of books of just stories about you. They don't have to be fictional. They could be fictional based on reality, whatever, but lots of things have happened to you. Every little thing you do is a story from making dinner or breakfast to an epic journey. They're all stories. They're just different sizes and lengths and some are more dramatic than others. So which part of the story do I want to share here on YouTube? So that's, those are my thoughts today, what I'm thinking through, and I feel like I want to share things that are going on now and that, I'm, that I've been dealing with since we moved on to this property, but I also feel like some of those things won't make sense if you don't have the context of things that happened in the past. So I think probably what's going to happen is I'm going to jump around a lot. <laughs> it's just, it's not going to be a linear timeline of stories and I think it I'll just do whatever makes sense at the time so whatever I'm doing now if that's the story I'm sharing right now if it needs context then the next story may give that context or maybe I'll decide to do the context first but in any case um, I, I, I think this you know a, a vlog every day is kind of helping me think through these things and figure out what to do because when I wasn't trying to do one every day um, I would just get stuck kind of spinning my wheels like what do I want to film next what do I want to film next and I over evaluate and today like I'm not giving you really any new information other than this is where my head's at <laughs> so uh, that's what I'm working through today uh, if you have strategies that you've used ideas for me, please post them in comments below. I'd love to uh, to pick your brains and get an idea, you know, what, what was your method? Where did you start? Did you have a method? Did you just dive in? You know, I feel like I need to organize myself a little bit, but at the same time, I don't want it to be rigid and too structured. So I need something that's going to be kind of a living document. So that's all I've got for today. Um, thanks for tuning in. We'll see you on the next video.